Look how they love one another. Wow. Everybody is somebody when Jesus is Lord. Yes, there has to be, in the church, there has to be authority. Uh, there has to be uh, positions, you know, leaders, and, and God calls some to lead and, and so forth, and there has to be authority, but not superiority. It doesn't mean that because somebody's in authority in the church that he is superior to somebody else. Not at all. Not at all. And uh, there are callings and there are roles. But even God warns us in First Peter to the pastors. He says, do not lord it over the flock. And, uh, and so pastors are warned and we are warned to accept and appreciate and affirm everybody um, the ground at the foot of the cross is level it is level we are all equal in God's eyes um, faith and favoritism do not mix that's what James is teaching James is teaching us here Faith and favoritism do not mix. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you love us like you do and that you reached out to us when we are, we're so unworthy. And, Lord, uh, we know that we are not even worthy to be here today, and, but we thank you for your precious love for us. We are blown away that you love us. We just can't wrap our minds around that, that you love us. And we just pray that you would help us to, to love others and to grow, to be like you, to mature, and uh, to reach out to others. Our heads bowed, and eyes closed. We're just going to wait on God for a minute here as we... I'm going to invite you to invite Jesus into your heart if you don't know him. You have that wonderful opportunity to know your Savior, the Lord Jesus, who died on the cross for you, paid for your sins. And you can just invite him into your heart right where you sit. If you've already done that, maybe God is speaking to you concerning favoritism. concerning treating others in the right way. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that nobody here has an inside track with you, that we all are on equal ground at the foot of the cross when it comes to your love. Thank you. Thank you so much that you do not show favoritism Thank you. We rejoice in that, and we do pray that you would help us to overcome our natural selfishness by the power of your Holy Spirit. May each one here be in a growing relationship with you. I pray for each one here. Lord, stir our hearts to grow and to be like you. And to make this place, on this corner, a place of refuge, a haven of love, acceptance, an appreciation, and an affirmation in a very dark and cruel, sinful world. We pray in your name. Amen.